Grade 4 Math, number 116, Units of Time. There's two types of clocks. There's a digital clock that shows numbers, like this, and there's an analog clock that has hands. An analog, an analog clock has an hour hand, the short one, a minute hand, the long one, and a second hand. It's usually a very skinny one. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's black. Each day is 24 hours, split into 12 hours of a.m. from midnight to noon, that's in the morning when you'd have breakfast, or 12 hours of p.m. from noon to midnight, that's when you'd have dinner and get ready for bed. When you look at an analog clock and you look at the long, skinny little second hand, every time it hits a little line, that's a second. This would be two seconds past three o'clock. There are 60 minutes to each hour. There are 60 seconds to each minute. So one minute is 60 seconds. One hour is 60 minutes. One day is 24 hours. One week is seven days. One year is 365 days, which is also 52 weeks. So because one hour is 60 minutes, we can multiply each hour by 60 minutes to convert the hours into minutes. If you have two hours, you multiply two times 60 minutes, and it's 120 minutes. For three hours, you multiply three times the 60 minutes, and it's 180 minutes. We can convert minutes to hours, too, the other way around. If you have 240 minutes, you divide them by 60, and then that'll tell you it's four hours. If you have 300 minutes, you divide it by 60, and that'll tell you you have five hours. Same thing with a minute to a seconds. Because there's one minute for 60 seconds, we multiply each minute by 60 seconds to convert minutes to seconds. Two minutes would be two times 60 seconds, which would be 120 seconds. Three minutes would be three times 60 seconds, or 180 seconds. And we can flip it around and convert seconds to minutes by dividing by 60 seconds. 180 seconds divided by 60 seconds is three minutes, because there's 60 seconds in each minute. 360 seconds divided by 60 seconds would be six minutes. So we can convert hours and minutes back and forth to each other. Just like we can say eight days is one week and one day, because there's seven days in a week, we can convert time back and forth. So if you want to remember a cute little poem, we're going to talk about this more in the next video. 30 days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31 except February with 21 day, 28 days or 29 days during leap year. If you watch the next video, number 117, we're going to learn about leap year. Okay? See you there. Bye.